everyone and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Fraz here as always and well, we have all this going on here. We do have Rizzlegat back down here. We've got this down here. We've got these guys down here. Well, now these guys on the other hand are getting a little bit, uh, well, carried away with themselves. So we do have our ships down here. We've got the rolling death that we may change up because it does move a little bit slow. So I was thinking about outfitting him. Obviously, we get Smashinator X2 there. Uh, we do have a Smashinator back here as a sort of... Why is that saying to attack? Attack what? Oh, they're giant spiders! Wonderful. What about defenses? What about we got about defenses? We don't really actually have any defenses. What about build a building? What about the Silent Watcher? Yep, I'm going to put that there. And leave that to build. We can also, I've just realized, build... A, well, could have built a dragon raid. I don't know what that actually is, and I want to know what it's like. Anyway, this is telling me to attack something, which... Oh yeah, that's odd. That can attack, but these can't. We can attack that... I feel like we should go visit the spiders and kill them off at some point. Hmm. You know what, let's do it. Uh, oh no, you can't actually. Why well, can't? Ah, I want it. That, that has a straight, is it because he has a land vehicle? It might be because we have a land vehicle. Let's see, what else can we build? I mean, we have that one, but we don't, we don't need to do that one. This one is obviously the better one. But have we got unmatched? I um, don't know whether to give him Maybe, you know what, let's build, let's build a, a new ship. Let's design a new ship. Don't know what I'm going to call them, but anyway. Um, how big do we want it? I don't know how big we want it. We've got everything here. Small. How big? That is quite small. Maybe create some, like, little fighters or something. Maybe to back up Smashinator. The machine shop has a near exhaustive supply of parts carefully organized. There's a repair shop, basically. Unless we go for a big, big, big lake. Hmm. I put the supply shop in first, right? Because we... Let's make a really, really big ship, actually. I think we should go with that. Yeah, let's do that. Right, so we put that there and that there. We're going to have two coal shops. Coal shop. What? You can have some sails if you want, you know? No. Uh, right, propellers. No... Like, that's a large propeller. So obviously that's sitting like that. And I didn't like the... Because I think the only way that we could make that work is if you put it like that. Which would sort of work, I suppose. Um, But we do have the engine pod. Which is going to look a bit odd. Uh, engine pod. Is it possible to put them below each other? And could you then have two at the top? Hmm. What is, do they actually take normal coal? Generates 200 propulsion requires a unit of coal every 20 seconds. Operates two crew members. Recommended crew free. So it does in fact take coal. I'd probably better to attach like coal to them. But you can't actually. Unless we literally do that. No, it's not going to work, is it? Hmm, I don't know, like, how much does these give? They give 270, so that's only f 200 propulsion. That gives, that actually gives more propulsion. Propulsion. <laughs> a large propeller. You know what? Let's go for large propellers, actually. Wait, how much does the cold does it eat through? 18. It actually eats through less than that. Right, so let's put one there, one there, one there. All right. So we're going to have three of that. And the only problem is you can't actually place it in above them, if I mind right. Yeah, you can't place it in above them. I don't like these propellers. <laughs> um, I mean, we do have these. Like, that's a small propeller. Then you've got these propellers. I think an engine pod would be really good. Streamlined external engine pod that has better performance than rear-mounted propellers, but is somewhat vulnerable. Mm. What if we just kind of... Hmm. Go with this. I 
This is going to become a very expensive piece of something. That's apparently connectable. Alright, so we do need that. So a large crystal suspending was kept chained and charged in this chamber, keeping the ship afloat. Pressure it's just, uh, suspending dust particles repel one another, but right, so that generates 900 lift. How much that generates? 2,000 lift. Okay, never mind. Let's go for that. Probably best to put them around about here. No, how how much is a coal? Where is the coal? Coal store. Right, so if they have coal in between them, what if we actually? So we do that, and then that, and then take that away, because then that coal would all be between each other, I think. And then we get the spendium chambers. Is there not the big one? There is a, a large one, but again, that takes up that. So we're probably better just kind of. <laughs> I'm actually thinking like, this is going to be probably insane. Um, but you never know. Uh, is that going to be enough lift for what I'm thinking of designing? I think we have enough coal because we just need it for the engine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How much does coal produce? Control, uh, coal pass at 32. And these eat through, you require 30 units. Oh, okay, you know, what? you know what? Just put coal in. <laughs> we need the coal. Uh, I mean, that's connected to that, but why is that not working there? Unless... No, I was going to say unless we put something in between, but no, there's really no point. Right, uh, let's get some quarters in. There we go. And let's get a bridge in. There we go, there's an OCB bridge for everybody. What's a berth? Cramp room with three hammocks. Hey, um, we got all the propellers, I suppose, because this is probably going to have some amount of speed. Does it tell me speed? 31. 31. What if we had another one? What's that going to do? Speed doesn't really seem to increase. Is it because these aren't connected? Because, I mean, that's obviously a cellular ceiling, but it might be because these aren't connected. Let's see. Corridor. I'm going to put a nice speed corridor there and a the corridor there. Why is this not connecting? Although I do kind of want that there just now. Ship modules are not mutually accessible. This ship needs more supply hatches. Is there a, b is there a big supply hatch somewhere? There we go. Cargo door. There we go. It's going to be such a weird sort of thing here. Fire door. Um... There we go. Can I keep things a little bit okay there? Gonna have a repair bay. Uh, let's put that down the bottom. Actually, you know what? Let's put two in. How much is this costing us? Quite a quite a quite a fortune. Uh, decks let your crew move at high speeds, but oft offer no protection. We've got the fire doors in. We could, could put in some large keels. Don't know if you want to put in large key. What did this remove? Coal. Need some fire points though, so let's put one there and one there. And then we're just gonna kinda connect that up with some corridors. Right, that is connected. I don't know what's wrong. I think it's because like this it's not actually connecting round properly. But we will get to around this side. I'm hoping this is enough to keep it afloat though. Uh sick bay. You know what? This is going to be our, like, championship. So we're going to go all out with this guy. A machine shop. Supply of parts. Machine shop. Let's put a machine shop in. Why not? Small ammo store. Small coal. Small... S right, we do need ammo. Uh, It's gonna be a lot of guns. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of guns. 
Um, I mean, we do have all these guns available to us. So I'm going to just connect that up just now and connect that up just now. That's not what working as great as I'd hoped. These modules are not mutually accessible. Ah, there we go. Excellent. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rather cool. I'm pretty excited about this one, to be fair. Right, so we have a bridge there just now. We've got some quarters. We're probably needing some more quarters if we're going to go with some guns. I don't think you can, like, alter these around, I don't think. So let's, uh... Wow. There we go. Right, so we've got some quarters in, which is always good. Uh, 250 lift, because that goes up above... You have the large one as well. Oh crap, what did I just take out? Oh yeah, I like that sort of thing. Then we've got a sick bee. I think we have pretty much everything in this one. Um, I might put some rifles, I'm not entirely sure because we want to kind of go with cannons at the moment. But this is going to be our big like heavy tank sort of guy. Um, let's see. So we want the heavy cannons. that right? I think it's right. No, that's... One end. There we go. That right? No, that looks better. Right, okay, okay. That is perfectly fine. I don't know if you can put cannons behind them. Like, um, no, you really can't, can you? Um, I wonder if you could put a keel. No, you can't flip that around either, which is annoying. I mean, we could put keels in front of that and keels in front of that. I don't think you can attach stuff to the top. You can, but they wouldn't be accessible. Unless you can... No, yeah, because... Yeah, that's not going to... Yeah. Unless... Where is it? Bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Bombay. Wanted to see if this works, like if you've had that connected to that, but then if you connect up uh, the corridor, it does, it does in fact work. Okay, that is noted. I'm gonna get rid of this though. This ship costs an absolute fortune. We're not gonna be able to build it for a little while, but anyway, <laughs> um, let's put the uh, supply hatches in there just now. Keep the keels, he has, uh, it has more than enough supply. To be fair, we've got the cannons there, we've got the bridge. Crow's nest would be something we definitely want to put in. There we go, put that there. And we'll connect that up with a nice big corridor. Can't connect up there, can't connect up there. Alright, so we need to put it there so we can have a nice big corridor. There we go. We've got enough coal, we've got a repair bay. Rifles. I don't know if there's like putting like a bunch of rifles here. Nah, it's not really gonna work, is it? Uh they have a higher fire rate than normal cannons. But let's go down to the So we've got cannons. If we want bombies, we get deck guns you can put down. But that's uh, literally on a deck at the moment. So you could actually wait a minute. I mean, they go that way and they go that way. And dorsal foot. This one, like, is, is awkward because it's, like, a sort of... The way it's mounted... It's a little bit awkward because... I mean, you could put that like that. But you can't actually put it in there. It has to be, like, on its own level. You could put a saw blade. You know? <laughs> You come near, you're gonna get sawed in half, apparently. Um, do we want another cannon there? I feel like because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six cannons. Could put a couple of more we small ones down there, or we could put a flat flat cannon. Is there a, is there a flat cannon flipped? Like it's instead of this this way. Right, so we get flat cannons going up. Um, grenades. 
Nah, leave them off just now. Probably with bombs then, because the flat cannon's got great grape shot. Maybe put some of these here. Let's put like them down there. And then we can connect it up with a bombie. And then we're going to connect this all up by adding in corridors. See, I don't know if I should have them slightly together or we need more supply. <laughs> there we go. We're just going to put that in uh, just now. I'm going to put in ship is too heavy to fly? Really? Ooh. Right. She's too heavy to fly? Hmm. What if we put these on? Need maybe take away some things and like take that away and we could put in this. Slightly reduced structural integrity due to large slightly reduced structural integrity due to large size. Straight slightly reduced structural integrity. We need to put these in then. Maybe. Can I take that out? That out. That out. And that needs to stay in, doesn't it? Let me put these in. I don't know. I don't know. Slightly... Uh, I don't think we need to, although I'm never going to need... I don't know how this thing's going to move. How much, like, uh... Your sailors. 132. Um... I mean, take that away, and if we put another suspendium in, there you go. Recommended crew, one hundred and one. Right, this has got some amount of lift in it, though, but I don't think it has enough. What if we put that in there? And that in there. <laughs> this is going to look odd as hell, but anyway. Um, that is the main area to connect to in that though, so I might take that out. Put that one in, and then we can attach some corridors in there. There we go. I think I'm pretty okay with that. Um, Can it fly? Uh, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> Health hazard? I don't know. Uh, oh, what the hell do we call this? Jeez. What do we want to go with? Titan. 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 Going to go with Titan. There we go. Titan. Save design. And it costs an absolute fortune. So much money though. Uh... I don't, like, it has a lot of health as well, so I mean, it's got supply 104 over 41. Doesn't need the amount of supply it has, like, at all. And we could actually put in more corridor to make sure that it kind of sticks with it. We do need to paint it, you know? That may be a good idea. Let's paint it all nice and red. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's go with white. Let's go with white for this one. There we go. There we go. It's going to take a little while. Let's just, just hurry this up. There we go. Voila. I really like this. I mean, I, I don't want to make, like, blocky ships. Because that seems to be what there, a lot of them are. And, obviously, you kind of start off with that. I want to make it a little bit shaped. And, obviously, with it being the way the graphics are in the other game, you, you somewhat will have that a little bit over and over. Um, I probably will make a, a big, like, land ship next. But this thing's cool. 
Um, decoration. Sad of this. There we go. Steel name plating. There we go. And let's do this and do this. Wonder if we can. There we go. <laughs> oh, I really like that. That actually is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if you. Now nah, let's just leave that. There we go. Okay, armor. Let's make it even heavier, shall we? <laughs> Uh, steel armor, I want it just kind of all around here and here and here and here, 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 here. And to protect these. Don't know if this is going to float. I really don't know if this is going to float. But we'll soon find out if it just kind of... Ship service ceiling is dangerously low. Is by service ceiling like how much it would actually like service ceiling seven meters? Is that how high it would actually go? That may be a thing to consider. Uh, right. Let's take this away. Modules. Remove modules. Um. That way, put another suspension chamber in. Uh, what are we servicing? 22 meters. Um, how high is that? I don't know if we can actually see that or not. And let's put another one in there, man. What? 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 Why won't that connect? Why the hell won't you connect? But anyway, put the armor store back on it. Okay, never mind, I don't know. Um, right. Suspendium chamber. What do we take off? Take off that and you can put another one of them in there. Take off that and then we can put in a couple of quarters. Why is that one not connecting? Right. So service ceiling now, 49 meters. That should be okay. Anyway, we need to leave this because, uh, um, let's see, if we click this, you can probably see, uh, no, I can't actually, oh, no, yeah, we can see that service ceiling is 260, oh. Our service ceiling for that ship is really quite, I'm probably gonna need to alter that at some point. Right, you guys, attack. Well, I'm attacking, actually. Right, what well, are we attacking? Dr dragons? Oh, for the love of God. Yeah, there we go. Right, okay, so move that, move that. Move that to there, because we want that to kind of go right under them. Start! Where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? Oh, dear. You get over there. Go, 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 go. You get over there. They're constantly firing, so... Ah, hi! Uh, crap. Oh, no! Run away! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! We're not losing you! Ah, oh, I hate dragons! Yeah, move back. <laughs> the dragons are a pain in the butt. Are you coming this way? You're not coming this way. No, you're not coming this way. Um, right, giant spiders. I don't know if we want to go near them just now. Oh, what? It's going to need fixed up, isn't it? I mean, we could actually redo the Titan with these guys in them some way. Maybe just have a little further offline. But there we go, that's that done. This needs repaired, apparently. What's the service scene? That's 123, so the Titan actually has lower than them. 
I mean, the Titan has a service ceiling of 49. Slightly reduced structural integrity. It is a big ship, but ah, uh, I think we, we we may need to do something about that. But guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. We did build that ship just now, and we didn't get really too far at the moment. But uh, we kept and I kept everything. This team are doing quite scarily good, so we might need to go over and attack them at some point. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.